What will shock most people is that the blue that you find in the jeans is the same blue that's used in the blue cotton candy or ice cream or gummies that your kids are eating or that you're eating. So instead of having a chemical version of that, we're going to have a natural version of that. There's research going on in bioenergy using algae to capture carbon that was the big drive, this clean, climate-friendly technology that's then going to produce natural gas to compete with natural gas in Alberta. While working on this optimization process, that's when I realized I have something even bigger uh, product that we can get out of this process, which is this natural blue pillar, that is phycocyanin. So phycocyanin is a scientific word for a natural blue pigment that comes from what we colloquially call algae. During our process, like what will happen is these pigments will come out and they will stay in the liquid form. And after that, like what we do is we separate the biomass and we separate this liquid that is blue in color. There are proven facts that this uh, natural blue color is an antioxidant and also it is an anti-inflammatory agent. And recent studies, it also shows that it can improve the uh, drugs that they use for chemotherapy. It can improve the effectiveness of the chemotherapy. This is an entirely new agricultural revenue stream for the country in terms of producing this color, something that we've never done before, and exporting this color, something that Canada has also never done before. It's really exciting for us to be part of a University of Calgary team that was essentially tasked with this really exciting journey of commercializing a technology that was developed here with many different people that worked within the university and our excellent research teams.